Yeah, and Pat and Dina, there's still so many questions about this case, about this investigation. The nine month old baby girl remains in critical condition at Comer Children's Hospital. Crisis responders were out this morning handing out flyers announcing a thousand dollar reward for information leading to the shooter in the case. Police did say this morning that someone is in custody and charges are pending earlier this week. A person of interest was released without charges. Now the shooting happened late Tuesday night. The baby's mother drove her to Comer Children's Hospital. Hospital officials say they're looking into why police weren't actually notified about the young gunshot victim until Wednesday morning. For their part, uh, police not releasing much information so far about this investigation. Scanner reports indicate the mother said the shooting happened in the McDonald's parking lot at Garfield and Wabash. But again, many questions remaining about the location and who was responsible. For you to leave, uh, state that you left the baby inside of the car and you came back and all of a sudden the baby was shot. I'm not buying that. A nine month year old baby, you know, I need to know if you drove in here and this baby was shot somewhere else, or if you all was in this car and there was some type of altercation or something, and then you pulled in here and this baby was shot, it needs to be told. And I'm quite sure the detectives will find that out. So again, this investigation continuing, though police say they do have a person uh, in custody and charges are pending. Holmes, Andrew Holmes, the community activist and crisis responder, responder, also calling attention to another unsolved case, the unsolved murder of five-month-old Cecilia Thomas. She was shot and killed uh, in South Shore in June of 2022. Two, there's also a $1,000 reward for information leading to the shooter in that case. Reporting live from Washington Park, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.